So I just saw Avengers Infinity War. I am a comic book movie fan at heart, in fact The Dark Knight is in my top 5 favourite films of all time, so my expectations were naturally very high when walking into the cinema. Somehow, I still managed to really love this film. Note, this is a spoiler free review. No deaths, twists, turns, returns, shocks or surprises will be exposed or referenced in this review, except of course the part where Luke Skywalker Let's start with the good things. This film manages pacing very well. Things never get boring and the time spent viewing consistently correlates with story progression in a way that makes viewing both rewarding and exciting. Speaking of excitement, the action scenes were above par and all delivered in terms of living up to the fandom's fantasy. This was due to the fact that unlike many Marvel films, almost every scene had stakes and most actions carried out felt as if they were done so with weight and purpose rather than just two large figures slugging each other into rocks. A focus was put on strategy when in combat, which was far more compelling than the formulaic basis by which many superhero fight scenes operate. The aforementioned fandom also had a lot to sink their teeth into in the capacity of character moments, as there are lots of both dramatic and subtle moments of character interaction during this 160 minute thrill ride. The looming overtones of death and closure makes the entire film come off as very tense when viewing. This tense nature was backed up by the well delivered characters which were easy to care about. Speaking of characters, in some departments this film did a very good job but juggling all the characters it had at its disposal into a cohesive narrative without it feeling messy and cluttered. Surprisingly, Gamora, Scarlet Witch, Peter Quill, Rocket Raccoon and Doctor Strange all offer up far more weight to the plot than I would have anticipated, all with positive effect. The vast majority of comedy really did work for both me and the audience, with Drax and some of the side characters getting hilarious one-liners. The movie wasn't particularly well shot, but its visual presentation helped give it scope and therefore importance. Whilst the shot composition wasn't especially exceptional, the visuals themselves definitely were. Almost every frame exploded with dynamic animation and colourful vibrancy. It also doesn't beat you over the head with laborious political dialogue scenes that kill the picture's momentum and appreciates the expected entertainment value that it should provide while still keeping the story going and still developing characters. For a Marvel Studios motion picture, it actually dealt with some pretty complex themes, such as responsibility, the idea of what makes someone truly evil, and how far you will go to achieve your ambitions. Whilst not always taking itself too seriously, but still being contrived when it needed to be, which was a lovely change of pace. In terms of living up to hype, envisioning fanatic fantasy, and refining characters, this movie is an effortlessly involving and extremely fun watch for any Marvel movie fan. The film was not perfect, however. While it did do a good job with balancing character inclusion, people such as Spider-Man, the Winter Soldier, and Black Panther all felt somewhat underutilized. Some of the comedy could feel rather forced, though this was a minority of it. Whilst most of the movie did a good job of presenting its occurrences with consequence, the first major death of the film felt void of impact which was disappointing as the character that died was a personal favourite of mine throughout the MCU. During the third act, there is a massive fight scene, which did seem to drag on. This part of the film is where we get the shot of Captain America and Black Panther leading an army of Wakandans into combat from the trailer. The movie thankfully cut away to other things and had cool segments in the battle frequently enough to avoid the experience getting boring. Mark Ruffalo... R Ruffalo... Ruffalo, as Bruce Banner just pissed me off. He never seemed believable, and he said everything so timidly or in a way that seemed like the emulation of an emotion rather than a genuine one. A similar critique can be made of Benedict Cumberbatch's portrayal of Doctor Strange just to a lesser extent. I just never got a characterful edge from his speech in the same way I might from Captain America or Tony Stark. Some deaths could be hard to care for, as we didn't see much of their characters in this film. Some scenes that were shot in darker environments were poorly lit, and this came off as a genuine mistake rather than the stylistic intention of the Russo brothers. This could have been because I saw it in 3D, but I'll probably need to see the 2D release to make sure this critique is well founded. The ending was highly dramatic as expected, but a tad insulting. The audience are effectively treated like children, as we are told to believe something that just isn't believable with modern sensibilities. Don't get me wrong, the ending is one of the best things about the movie, but you really have to suspend disbelief to take it on with every implication. Overall, Avengers Infinity War is entertaining, shocking, and truly satisfying. Between its numerous awesome moments, killer soundtrack, and breathtaking visuals, this super-powered lightning bolt of a movie is my favourite Marvel movie to date, and I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. Also, expect the review for Other Dogs very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>